Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I'd like to talk to you about how social media can be a powerful tool for our company, XYZ, to reach new customers and grow our business. We'll be taking a look at the different ways we can make the most out of this modern frontier. Social media. A new frontier for our company. Let's get started. This presentation will explore The Scarlet Letter, a timeless and iconic novel by Nathaniel Hawthorne. It is a renowned piece of American literature that delves into the themes of sin, guilt, and redemption in Puritan New England during the 17th century. Hawthorne is renowned for his poetic command and usage of symbolism, imagery, and complex characters, which we will address to attain a unique perception of this classic masterpiece. Nathaniel Hawthorne was a renowned American writer of the 19th century. Born in Massachusetts in 1804, Hawthorne was influenced by his family's history of Puritanism, which set the tone for much of his writing. His most famous work, The Scarlet Letter, was published in 1850 and has since become a classic of American literature. Hawthorne attended Bowdoin College in Maine where he met future president Franklin Pierce. After college, he endured poverty while struggling to establish himself as a writer. In spite of this, he eventually achieved recognition for his works and left an indelible mark on literature. Set in Puritan New England in the mid-17th century, The Scarlet Letter tells the story of a small, close-knit town heavily influenced by the strict religious beliefs of the Puritans. The town is rigid and oppressive, while the forest surrounding it is mysterious and vibrant, a symbol of freedom. The dichotomy between the expectations of society and the desire for freedom highlights the importance of the setting and plays an integral role in the story. The Scarlet Letter centers on three characters with complicated backgrounds. Hester Prynne is the protagonist facing the consequences of being publicly shamed after her adultery. Reverend Arthur Dimsdale is a well-regarded minister in the Puritan society but he himself is concealment his sin of being father of Hester's child. Roger Chillingworth, who is Hester's husband, arrives in Boston with purpose of avenging her betrayal. These characters come together to create a narrative of guilt, regret, and ultimately, absolution. The Scarlet Letter is a classic novel by Nathaniel Hawthorne, first published in 1850. The story follows the trials and tribulations of Hester Prynne, a woman convicted of adultery in Puritan New England. Hawthorne's masterful storytelling allows us to explore themes such as sin, guilt, and redemption. His characters are flawed and complex, drawing us into their struggles as they try to reconcile their inner desires with societal expectations. The Scarlet Letter is more than just a riveting story, it provides valuable insight into the human condition. Published in 1850, The Scarlet Letter is an evergreen work of literature that addresses weighty themes such as sin, guilt and atonement. Its enduring legacy has allowed readers to remain engaged with its thought-provoking narrative. Through close analysis of the symbolism found within the novel, we can gain further insight into the narrative's message. The Scarlet Letter was an instant hit when it came out in 1850, selling out within 10 days and quickly becoming one of the most widely read and influential novels of the 19th century. Its frank portrayal of adultery and criticism of Puritan society sparked debate among critics, some of whom applauded the work's powerful themes and exquisite prose. Its undeniable influence on American literature was key in establishing the novel as the leading literary form of that period. In The Scarlet Letter, Nathaniel Hawthorne has created a masterpiece of literature that offers a complex look into the motivations and actions of its characters. The protagonist, Hester Prynne, is a strong and resilient woman determined to protect her daughter and maintain her own dignity. Reverend Arthur Dimsdale is a conflicted religious leader who is driven by a desire to do what is right, but unable to confess his wrongdoing. Their complex characterizations provide an intriguing and thought-provoking story, 
making the Scarlet Letter a timeless classic. The Scarlet Letter is an iconic novel that examines many powerful themes, from sin and guilt to redemption. The novel tells the story of Hester Prynne, a woman who is forced to bear a scarlet letter, a, for her adultery and is made to face the consequences of her sin. But the novel does not just explore sin. It also examines how guilt can be a source of positive change, driving characters to seek atonement and become more aware of their moral failings. Ultimately, Hawthorne implies that redemption is possible, as long as individuals are willing to learn from their mistakes and strive for moral righteousness. Nathaniel Hawthorne is renowned for his writing style, which was often described as dark, brooding and introspective. He explored complex themes such as sin, guilt, and redemption through his use of symbolism and allegory. Hawthorne's prose was rich with detail, delving into the inner thoughts and emotions of his characters. In The Scarlet Letter, Hawthorne's writing style sets an atmosphere of unease and tension. His vivid descriptions of the Puritan society demonstrate the oppressive, conformist and moral world the characters inhabit, while his use of symbolism and metaphor add complexity to the story, allowing readers to gain a unique insight into the psychological states of his characters. Scarlet Letter has been a timeless American classic for over a century, and its core themes of sin, guilt, and redemption continue to inspire people around the world. A number of adaptations have been inspired by the novel, including the Demi Moore movie, a 1979 miniseries, and even a 2015 stage play. Its influence has also been observed in other movies and TV shows like Easy A and The Simpsons, further proving its timelessness. Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter is a classic example of how women's roles have been portrayed throughout history. Its main character, Hester Prynne, is a strong and determined woman who refuses to be silenced in spite of immense societal pressure. However, other female characters in the novel are often depicted as common stereotypes, such as Pearl's wildness and Mistress Hibbins's image as a witch. These characters serve as reminders of how women were viewed and treated in the past. The Scarlet Letter is a significant reminder of the role women have played in the past and of the progress that has been made in gender equality. Scarlet Letter, a classic piece of American literature penned by Nathaniel Hawthorne in the mid-17th century, is set in Puritan-era Massachusetts and delves into themes of sin, guilt and redemption that were central to the beliefs of Puritan people. With Hawthorne being a descendant of Puritan ancestors, he used his own upbringing and background to construct the novel's story of Hester Prynne's redemption. Pubilched in 1850, the novel's historical setting reflects the discussions and matters of a society in transition, and provides an ongoing remark on the human experience. The Scarlet Letter is integral to the narrative of Hester Prynne, evoking memories of her wrongdoing and illustrating the unbending Puritan culture of the setting. Its significance evolves among the characters as the story progresses, but it always stands as a token of Hester's tenacity. Moving on, let us examine a different kind of fire, the one that was consuming a woodland. Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter is an iconic work of literature that has endured through the ages. Its ability to capture the complexity of human emotions and its critical examination of social norms have made it a timeless classic. It serves as a powerful reminder of literature's capacity to challenge and influence society, and of the importance of individuality and self-expression. Set in the Puritan society of 17th-century Boston, The Scarlet Letter, by Nathaniel Hawthorne examines the complexities of morality and the limits of societal norms. Hawthorne presents a world in which morality is not absolute, but instead consists of various shades of gray. His characters have to traverse this complex moral landscape and recognize that their decisions have far-reaching implications. At the core of the novel is a conflict between personal ethics and social morality, demonstrating the challenge of making correct moral decisions in a continuously shifting environment. 
Nathaniel Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter delves into the conflict between individual liberty and community expectations in a Puritan society. At the center of the story is Hester Prynne, who is condemned for breaching both civil and divine law. Yet her story also reveals the hypocrisy of the spiritual leaders. Arthur Dimsdale, a minister of the church who hides his guilt and guilt, serves as a reminder that there is a difference between public faith and personal ethics. Nathaniel Hawthorne's novel The Scarlet Letter examines the subject of hypocrisy and how it encourages others to unfairly pass judgment on the characters within. In highlighting the Puritan culture's greater importance of external conventions over interior righteousness, Hawthorne scrutinizes the consequences of such behavior, namely the suffering of Reverend Dimsdale and Hester Prynne. His writing provokes readers to contemplate their own stances and responses should they be in a comparable situation, thus gaining a fuller comprehension of the human condition. The Scarlet Letter is an iconic work of American literature that exemplifies the strength and tenacity of an individual's will to challenge social conventions. It paints a vivid image of how an idea, even when met with prejudice, can still survive and thrive. The protagonist Hester Prynne vividly demonstrates how one can break free of the gender roles imposed by society and courageously choose one's own path in the face of extreme opposition. The novel stands as a testament to the power of imagination, courage, and strength. The Scarlet Letter is an iconic masterpiece that has been passed down through generations and remains relevant in today's society. Its timeless characters and themes still intrigue and captivate readers. Its lasting influence on literature and popular culture is undeniable. We have looked at how the themes and characters of the Scarlet Letter still resonate with us today and how they might influence the way we think and act. As we contemplate what we have gained from studying this classic novel, we are presented with an important question. How does the Scarlet Letter still impact us today, and what can we learn from it?